Patsy, Loretta, and of course our sweet Danny are trying to help me. What I'm gonna do now is get back on my tractor and raise the raise it back up and then I will be able to hopefully adjust my wheel with the tractor running. It's gonna be hard for you guys to hear, so I'll just play some I'll just play some fun music. Look at Gary running. Guys, he's not being chased. He's running to see the ladies. Oh no, look. They're like, Gary's running. Look, Gary's running. God, Gary's running, y'all. Gary's running. They're all running, Gary. Oh Lord. Prince Willie Joe, do you have to start all that nonsense? This is supposed to be a mechanical working video, not a, not an animal video. Who's over there? Oh, hi, sweetie. You scared me. I tell you what, this day just keeps on getting longer. I've uh, spread out all the mulch for Jamie and we didn't have enough and i kind of knew we weren't going to have enough so i've come back for a second load this time i brought the big truck and uh i'm waiting now for the guy to bring a forklift out and load it i think that would be us right there so we're not looking near as bad with this truck over here having the double uh set up over here really does add a whole lot more strength to the back end of your truck which is why we bought the truck pulling trailers and things around and hauling stuff all the time especially with the rv things that are so heavy you do need a big strong truck for doing that and i think you all remember how scared we were driving home in the uh, smaller truck last week so this is not a problem here with this one at all all right, let's hit the road and get back to uh, Longhorn Lusters to finish up our mulching. That right there was a whole lot safer than using the small truck. All right, so we have a few more bricks we're gonna need to pull out over here, and then we're gonna start filling all of this in. We've already gone through the entire first pallet of potting soil over here. And don't forget, we still have to put mulch at some point. So it's a... A lot of work, kind of expensive, but it's gonna make the property look a whole lot nicer. It's just gonna be beautiful when we're done with it. And then I can't wait to go buy some plants. Uh, don't forget, if you've not already done so, let us know in the comments what kind of plants you think can grow in almost full shade. Now, right now it's noon, and as of right now, there's not been a lick of sun on this entire area slowly we're starting to show a little bit of sunlight here as the sun comes up and over this tree it'll start to kind of set over here and that's when we get a three o'clock four o'clock trixie sweetie um yeah by 2 30 until about 6 30 or so it's nice and sunny before the sun begins to set so it's afternoon shade so if you know the kind of plants we need and then um we're also going to have an issue with a gutter. With, well, we don't have a gutter. And so in heavy rains, a lot of rain will fall down. These trees here have done pretty good at keeping the soil in place. We're going to have to kind of find something to go along through here as well until we get a gutter system set up. But with all of this tree doing what it's doing, it's not a heavy rain that comes down here. It's just kind of a drizzle, uh, drips. So we'll have to find a way to stop this. Hello there, sweet 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 one i don't know who this is but uh, somebody wants some loving daddy loves you okay but i'm working right now and it's too hot to be doing this right now so there we go All right, you're probably saying, Lester, what in the world are you doing? Friends, today I'm trying to adjust my bush hog. You heard me right, I'm trying to adjust, adjust my bush hog because it's not setting right. And I'm gonna show you all how to adjust it to where it sets the right way. 
So, this will be fun. Okay, so I normally cut my pastures on four or five inches. So if I lower my blade, this is gonna control the three point there in the front. This only controls the three point connection there in the front. Oh no, I pushed my board over. Well, that's not good. This is actually a two man job, but I'm trying to do it with by myself. So listen, I'll just kind of give you the gist of it. The front of your mower has to be lower than the back. When you mow, you have to send all of this kind of grass out the back end. If not, you're gonna, as you come by cutting the way it is right now, with the front of the mower higher, it pushes all that grass in front of you. You end up cutting the same grass multiple times. That's not the way you're supposed to mow. You're supposed to mow the grass away from you. So the back has to set up higher than the front. So what you have to do is when you get the front set where you want it, you have to lower this wheel in the back. People don't understand that. When you buy a bush hog like this one over here, they come just from the factory at a high setting. You're gonna actually make this wheel rest to where it'll keep the back end higher than the front end. And uh, the way you do that, if I want my front to be at four inches, then guess what? Five and a half inches here in the back would give me an inch and a half higher, which would allow all that grass to come out the back end. My problem right now though, is I knocked my board over when my blade came down. This is gonna be a difficult job to do, but uh, that's what I'm working on today. Danny, I can't love right now, sweetie. I want to love you, but I can't, but I'm working. I'm trying to work here, girls. Y'all be sweet, please. Patsy, be sweet. Halfway there, ladies. Halfway there. Uh -oh. Halfway there, friends. All right. How are we going to do this, Lester? All right, friends, that's more like it right there. Now I can put my blade on the five inch mark and I'm going to start cutting. It's at five inches right now. And as you can see, the back is off the ground because of that wheel adjustment. And now all that grass can blow out the back of the mower and not accumulate all up around me. And that will make it easier on my tractor. It will save a lot of fuel. It will also save a lot of wear and tear on my tractor and these blades. So this is the proper way to do that. I know that that was probably very boring for you all, but um, if you ever see a bush hog and you see all this over here around it, you know that they have everything backwards. The back end has to be at least an inch or two higher than the front. You can adjust the front from your dials over here. I'm at four inches right there. You have to have the back higher than the front or else. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.